closer for better now and forever I do This past spring, when Rebecca and I decided to get married, I knew I wanted to do something special for her, to try to make her something that shared how I feel about her and this new journey that we were going on together. Do I love you? Do I need you? Do I pray to you? To let her know how blessed I feel to be the one who gets to spend his life making her happy. Make you happy. And one afternoon as I was holding my guitar, that thought turned into a few lines. And a short time later, a song. And then in no time after that, an even bigger idea. What if I not only surprised Rebecca by writing my vows and singing them to her at our wedding, but what if I could turn that moment into a special memory for her and for us to keep forever, a musical wedding album that I could give her? Once I had a good bit of the song written, I called my friend Matt and I asked if he would mind helping me to record it. And so in the little studio he had set up in the living room of his house, He began working on a track for I Do, playing a lot of the instruments himself and bringing in a few musicians to add their parts to it. In late June, a few days before we left for Montana, I dropped by and recorded the lyrics over the track that Matt had been working on. Do I need you? Do I thank God for you? I do. And over the next week or two, he scrambled to sing the harmonies and get it all finished to send to me for the big day. At the same time, I had asked my nephew Michael, who does a lot of video and storytelling work with me, if he would help me to capture our wedding ceremony. He and his family were going to be driving out to the wedding, and so he agreed to pack a couple of cameras with the rest of their stuff they brought with them. We had quite a few folks make the trip out to Montana, and so two nights before the wedding, we had some of them join us for dinner at the lodge we were staying at. Right afterwards, a big storm blew in, and we all had fun taking pictures between the raindrops. Later on, when the storm had passed, while everyone else headed across the road to Music Ranch for a concert that was happening there, me and Michael and our bus driver Russell and his girlfriend stayed behind to finish up a few things, or at least that's what we told Rebecca. As soon as they were out of sight, as a beautiful rainbow formed over the mountains, I hurried and put on my wedding clothes and Michael pulled out his camera, and while Bree held the iPhone and I sang along, He filmed me singing the songs a couple of times. Twenty minutes later, I had changed back into my clothes and we were all over there watching the concert. No one had any idea what we'd done. The next day, there was much to do to get ready for the wedding. As the ladies spent some quality time together, A number of us guys saddled up and went on a horseback ride into the mountains above where we were going to be getting married the next day. That afternoon, we had a quick rehearsal for the wedding, and a few hours later, we were back in Livingston, gathered around Music Ranch, this time for a beautiful rehearsal dinner on the hill. Music Ranch Montana is how we originally started coming out there. In 2013, they had invited Joey and I to play a concert, and we'd been back to perform many times since then. The last five or six years, we've come out and spent most of the month of July there, and it's become almost like a second home to us. 
So to get to have part of our celebration there with many of our family and friends, and also Frank and Karen, who owns Music Ranch, was a special treat, especially since it was Karen's 85th birthday. On our wedding day, the first time I saw Rebecca was when she pulled up in the carriage with Indiana. They were both so beautiful. And up until the time when I was supposed to say I do, everything went just as Rebecca had hoped it would. But then you might say it went in a bit of a different direction. You, Rory, take Rebecca, whom you now hold by the right hand, to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this time forth for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, and forsaking all others, remain faithful to her alone as long as you both shall live, according to God's holy ordinance. If so, answer, I do. To say that she was surprised is an understatement. (laughs) Rebecca had no idea that I was going to sing to her, and even more so that I'd written my vows into a song. Once she realized that I wasn't running away, only grabbing a guitar to sing to her, she was more than a little relieved. Do I love you? Do I need you? Do I thank God for you? I think my favorite part was when the band joined in with me on the second verse. It was then that she realized that there were more people in on this than just me. It was about as beautiful a moment as I've ever experienced. Being able to make someone happy who worked so hard to make me happy. We spent the rest of the afternoon celebrating with cake and dancing and pictures and a wonderful dinner with family and friends. And too soon it was time to depart. We said our goodbyes and rode off in a carriage with our old bus driver Russell still holding the reins. Although I spent a good bit of the first day or two of our honeymoon editing the video, I don't think Rebecca minded, because she and I knew that what we'd made and what we'd done was bigger than both of us, bigger than the wedding and bigger than the song. We had turned our love into a memory that would outlive us both.